Hello, uh, I'm Richard Graffin. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about the Verdi Green and Rust finish which I put on uh, on some of my pots and, uh, and cylinders and that's what this video is about. These two little boxes are claret ash and they're due to be painted on the inside um, but the finish uh, is a Verdi Gris and that comes as a thick paint. Um, this is the one I use and uh, it's, it's a pretty thick gunky paint and there's a rust version and the paint goes on when it's dry you then put on this oxidizing patina and that brings out uh, in this case the verdigris color the blue and um, if you're very lucky it'll get to a kind of bright green uh, as it has or more this bright color on the bottom of this little bowl this bowl has had some rust added to it uh, so I get a, a more interesting surface now I'll do this small bowl so you can see this happening so this is a green turned bowl uh, went through the microwave uh, it's as thin as a crisp it's only about a millimeter thick and this will get the verdigris treatment so I use a fairly stubby little brush for this and that goes uh, which I don't want to do first this one so it really just gets put on thick I believe you're supposed to put a base on this first but uh, I've never done that and uh, still seem to get the result or a result I'm happy with anyway and I quite like the way the wood still comes through the bottom because I whilst there's the nice element of fraud here in the final piece uh, people aren't quite sure whether it's uh, metal or not it's uh, quite nice to have some evidence of it being wood now I'm not going to do the bottom just yet because I'm about to turn this over Hopefully without getting my hands too mucky, I'll put a little bit on there. It'll probably come off later. So that's a fairly thick layer, a little bit missing there. Right. Ah, another little bit. I can come back over this. Right, so that's that bit. Now, I find it, I need to try and keep my fingers clean. I tend to use a dental tool just to hold this firm. Now you could put this on in big brush strokes, uh, in which case you get a different kind of surface. Just so I can blob this on. Right, so that looks quite nice and thick. Now the brush will get cleaned in water and you find 
you'll find this kind of a paint um, in most big paint stores. If you're in the States, you'll find it in the big chains, the name of which escapes me at the moment. Um, but uh, in Australia here, there's Bunnings have one. This comes from an art supply shop, uh, Eckersley's. And that now goes into the sun. And I'll wait until it dries off, which will probably, it's a nice warm day today, so, or it's a sunny day, it's not warm. Um, but that'll dry off fairly quickly, uh, and then we'll put the acid on and watch it happen. So here it is out in the sun with some others, which are just drying off. Over here we've got some rust. If I come in tighter, you might be able to see the brass glittering in the paint. So here we are an hour later, um, and I'm going to get some of the oxidizing patina. Remember that this was it. And I've got some transferred to uh, this little bottle here, or jar, it's just more convenient for a brush. And I wish you just slop it on. Now it doesn't always want to get in first time, so you've got to kind of work away at it. seems to be <clears throat> everywhere. Right. <clears throat> Do the inside. I don't want to waste anything. So just tip that lot in and then get this sloshed around. Now I've got plenty on here and basically I'm going to keep keep it wet for a few minutes just everything flows to the bottom so there's a little pool in the bottom and I'm just going to bring that out and let it run down again And uh, we'll come back in a few minutes when it's dried off and see what's happened. So it should start turning blue uh, in, in around three or four minutes. So this is it after a quarter of an hour. <clears throat> Timed on a stopwatch. Now it's a little bit kind of thicker somewhere around here. That's still slightly damp. So what I might do is just apply another layer underneath and uh, see if I can get a bit more color in around the um, around the beads. So 
So you can see the actual process of painting a piece uh, and then putting on the uh, oxidizing patina is it's pretty easy. Um, to bring the color out generally I find you just need to put on more oxidizing uh, patina and with the rust particularly the more you put on the brighter it gets. So this is pretty bright inside uh, as uh, these little ones. Which I really rather like. This one here, I think that's still got a bit of a way to go. Um, although it fades out quite nicely here. And it's brighter on the inside. So that's those. Um, yeah, that one definitely needs more on the outside. Here we have predominantly blue with a bit of rust in the middle. And on the outside that's Again, predominantly blue with a little bit of rust splodged on. Uh, that's basically ash, that uh, bowl. This one much more uh, surfaced, shall we say, uh, very heavily textured. Um, the uh, rust mix I've got is fairly old and it seems to be uh, going into lumps. So they're... Um, uh, there seem to be a fair amount of the, the uh, ferrous metals in there seem to be kind of gathering up somehow, which I don't mind at all. Um, give me a lovely colour on the outside that had a lot of uh, patina agent on it. Um, and on the inside I mixed in with a bit of blue so there's just a little bit of the, uh, the verdigris coming through in the middle but it's a pretty rugged surface that one. Up on the tubes, um, I tend to see these as groups. Uh, these all came back, well not that one, uh, but these came back from damaged from a gallery which had a flood uh, and it was in the tropics so they also uh, had a lot of fungus developing on the inside which wasn't that attractive. Uh, these have yet to be completely uh, refurbished but the insides I like to paint with a bit of colour so that was a pink set, pink trio um, there was another one in with this so there were five of them all together I tend to have them in groups of um, two, three or five um, the verdigris here got into the groove, settled in the groove so that brings the colour out a little bit more this is a more uh, one I did uh, last week. A um, bit of rust and a bit of verdigris. And the verdigris almost been swamped by the rust. And uh, bright red as you can see on the inside. So if you get some of this, uh, I wish you joy. It'll, you should have great fun in uh, playing around with it. And the trick after that is knowing when to stop. But if it doesn't look very good, to your mind you might just as well press on and see what comes up.